Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting some flowers in uh, a little book, um, or the pages of a little book. Uh, this is really badly damaged. Um, so I just snipped the um, the signatures out and um, because they're just tiny little solid sonnets and not written all over the page, they've got masses of um, room for uh, painting. Um, and you can write over the paint on this. It's lovely and thick um, absorbent, so it doesn't damage the surface or make it crockle at all. Um, so this is what I've been doing. And I'm going to be using some colour pencils, I'll show you in a minute. So if I turn these this way, you can see how beautifully light these watercolour pencils are. And even if I put a photograph here or a pocket or anything, <laughs> you can still write over the flowers quite easily. It doesn't distract from it. So that's that side and that's that side. Obviously, they will be like that in your book. Um, and the roses, I'm going to show you how to do a rose today. Um, and I've stuck one of these on already. Um, this is going to be on my craft channel, how to make those. Um, but uh, as you can see, there's plenty of room to write. You can stick whatever you want on, corners, pockets, whatever. Um, and a little blue one. I haven't finished the matchbox top yet. Um, but uh, I don't know what to put on there yet. Uh, but I've done a little side pocket here. Just to show you and they've got some periwinkles and little blue flowers and here we have some purple roses so I haven't done the back side that's what I'm going to show you today now when you do a signature um, probably have all sorts of different kind of uh, pages in uh, that's not necessarily going to be the, the whole spread so you can have it like that and then that be so you can make it different. Um, if you want to make it an in, inside spread, like I more or less what I've done here, um, that's fine too. Uh, so it doesn't matter what you put all over these pages. It's just just, to, just enjoy it. So I'm going to now get the back side of this, and I'm going to I can do it sideways for you. And I'm going to just get rid of that, put that one on, that's it. I'm going to be using these Faber-Castell watercolour pencils. They are really are lovely. Um, you can see the ones I have been using regularly. Um, I'm just going to use a purple today. There's only one in the set. There's a set of 36, but the clever amongst you might even notice that Ron's run away. I don't know what colour it is and a green and um, basically it really is all you need out of these but the the actual lid itself does not break easily just like the colored pencils and they sharpen quite really lovely and look how thick they are so it's like a little paint palette on the end of a pencil i've been using paint watercolor pencils for nine or thirty years i think as long as they've come out um, different brands but I've still been using them so I just want to check that I'm fully in the screen right uh, so it's not quite like a watercolor paper but there's no yeah you know, it's, it's fine so what I'm going to do oh right so okay so we'll start here now I don't want it too stark to start with so I'm just going to add a little bit of water, but I did tap, I did tap the jar first, so it's not straight from there. And drawing roses is a lot easier than you think. It's just a few lines going round, um, and basically that's it. I just need to spread that out a bit. Again, I tap my brush against the jar. Right, 
and now we try another one. Uh, let's do a. That's going to be a bud, uh, and we'll do one. It doesn't matter if you come over because it's more is real arty and realistic. Um, uh, you just, just kind of just brush it round when they these dry. They look just as though you've spent ages trying to to get a rose shape right. And and that's literally all I'm doing. I might come in with a little darker centerpiece, but not not a lot. Let's have one coming off the page there. Um and That's, we just leave those for a second. We come on to this page. Uh, let's do one here. Because my thinking is if you don't want to read this, then you put your little pocket on it or a little booklet or something. And then you just write all over this. You can put a strip across there if you don't like the words. Uh, some of these poems, the first sort of line, I. Uh, absolutely overwhelmingly delicious but then mm, I can't really understand them um, it doesn't matter if that goes a bit darker there let's just put a little bit in here that'll run out Uh, sorry if I'm not talking all the time. Uh, but it, it, when you concentrate, um, it's best if you shut up. Right, so I could do more, but let's see how many leaves I can get on here first. Now, rose leaves are really interesting. Uh, and... Um, I want to show you again, these aren't botanical illustrations. These are just having fun with putting shapes on there. Roses are, see how I'm leaving some of that white and you need to, I think, just makes it look like a an illustration and there we go that I'm going to leave that although technically that should be dark on the bottom because it's shaded by the top but hey how um, I'm going to do one and again just a few spikes just don't do hundreds of tiny little spikes um, some are over and just lay some paint down don't be worried about it, just lay with quite a drop of water. That's another one and I'll come in with a few lines later. Now this, this is a, a bud so therefore we should go like that. And uh, technically there should be one there. And that will come through there like that. And in a minute, we again, we shall uh, just do a couple of there. Um, and I'll just do a nice leaf here. And just drop it in again, just too, too much to it. So that's really like one page, but we obviously we need um, a little bit more de 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 definition. That's nice. So I'm going to do a big one here. If you can see I'm just stroking this. Um, there. Uh, 
Let me bit hide that a bit. Yes, don't forget to bring leaves over the um, stems um, because roses don't just have nice little red. Well, they do. They have pairs, don't they, or threes. Now I'm going to just make this a little bit darker in here, just to look as though it's got a leaf coming up there as well. Um, I'm going to just come down the middle very lightly and go in so it shows up the very light petal there. Uh, light against dark always works. Always just uh, adds a little bit of magic to the um, to the picture. Um, and I am ju just want to give the illusion that there's now, don't mind all these white spaces. I think it's called artily. Right, so that, that's, that's done. I might come back after. Um, do we need another rose? Uh, I suppose so, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Um, I'm going to go down like that. And I'm going to do a leaf here. And um, another one here, a big one, again to show the edge of, of the, that's probably a bit too big, but hey, I'm happy with that. So what do you think? Basically, with two watercolour pencils, I've done this. When it's dry, you could could put in a couple. But be careful because it is quite strong when it's neat. So you could wash them out a bit, or take some more from there and just go like that. But I don't think it's necessary. This is not. Um, this is not a. A work of art this is just illustrating a few backgrounds on your on your paper. Now I'm quite pleased with that, and what I want to show you about the light against the dark, although it's not particularly dark, is to show the edges of these corn, um, sunflowers off. I've had to drop in a little bit of blue round imaginary edges. Now they all haven't got paint on, but it doesn't matter. You see again just here. Don't do it every single, every single line. When you're doing loose, free painting, you don't need to. You just do a little, just just to make the viewer, oh yes, that's a sunflower, look at all the petals on it. Um, and again there, and, and there. Um, I'm going to be showing this with some, um, as a as a junk journal on my Crafty Julie page uh, because obviously that's not art if I start doing all the bits and pieces in it. So um, hopefully you'll see that on there. Um, well, I'm hoping that you get some inspiration from this and if I had a pen handy, I would probably write something in it just to show you that you could. <laughs> Uh, but I haven't. Um, I'm hoping that you'll subscribe and so you can see more that's coming up soon. And um, have a lovely weekend and goodbye.